Welcome to the Moly Robotic Kitchen. This is the most technologically advanced kitchen in the world. Let me just take you in and show you exactly what it is we're looking at. So here today, we are going to show you not only how the Moly Robotic Kitchen can make a meal for you, we're also going to show you what's contained within the kitchen and just how it works. So the Moly Robotic Kitchen is a fully integrated unit and they're anthropomorphic hands which replicate the movement of human hands. That's why it's able to cook for you, use the utensils, all that kind of thing. You also have refrigerator units there which your ingredients go in. I will talk you through that very, very shortly. And utensils, pots and pans, things like that which are specially optimised for use both by robots and by humans. But you'll probably be able to see behind me now the GUI. That is the graphic user interface. That is the hub of the kitchen. And let's start by cooking a meal. So this is the graphic user interface, the GUI. This really is the hub of the Moly Robotic Kitchen. So let's just head into recipes right here. And as we can see, tons and tons of options for you to choose from. Actually, the Moly Robotic Kitchen is capable of performing 30 different operations, which means it can prepare 5,000 recipes. Okay, but I personally, it's nice and grey outside by the way, it's grey, it's drizzly, it's cold. I am in the mood for a chicken and chorizo paella to remind me of going on holiday to Spain. So I'm just going to click on that, but here, start manual cook so you can cook it yourself, or start robotic cook. This is if you want the Moly Robotic Kitchen to make it. So let's jump in there, and we'll see here at the top, we have my list of ingredients. So, for example, if I click on the white onion there, okay, so I know from before that I'm going to need 55 grams of white onion, and we'll see here the individual containers which are within the refrigerator. I can just select one of them, and here with the white onion, because not everybody knows how to slice one, it shows you how to slice it. There you go, there's a video here on the GUI which shows you exactly what you're doing. So, let's start chopping up that onion. See, here we go. Just cut the end off and just dice the onion. Like that, there we go. Dice that. Just work out exactly what it is I have. So pop that in. I'm looking for 55 grams, remember. 36 grams, it says on there. 49. Pop the knife down. 52. 54. There you go, just over 56 grams. We can live with that. 56 grams, so it will tell me on here, see, it shows you just how full it is. That's gonna be a red line on the container on the GUI. It will go green once you get to or past the level of the weight of the ingredient that you need. So there you go, so that's my onions. So I can click OK here on the GUI because I know that the onions are done. And as you see, it goes green at the top and there's a tick. So let's take the ingredients and put them into the fridge. So I mentioned this a few moments ago. So here we go, we have one compartment here. If you remember, we programmed that to go in to here. Just below that, we have another compartment, which I'm gonna put my white onions in. So once you've prepared all your ingredients and loaded them all up, then you're ready to start cooking. So once you've finished preparing all your ingredients, it's all ready to go, and this is the exciting bit, because it's when the Moly Robotic Kitchen comes into its own. You press Start Cooking, enter your password, and then you're ready for it to spring into action. So closing protective screen and starting robot. We've got the screen open for you today just so you can see what happens. And as you see, the robot is starting to do its thing. So there you go, see it's turning on the hob. It I mean, it really is, it it's doing exactly what a human chef would do. And it's probably a good time at the moment to talk about the robotic arms. So when we look at the hands here, it really is a groundbreaking design. Even 
with technology that's comparable. So you can see you've got the five fingered hands and there are sensors on them which ensures that the hand grips uh, ingredients and materials and cookware with exactly the right amount of pressure. Now that is pretty unique and pretty innovative, let me tell you. As you can see here, it moves in three dimensional space and there are over 50 sensors within the Moly R kitchen itself, that's the Moly Robotic Kitchen, which help it move around and do its thing. So you can see here it's just selecting the cookware. By the way, I will be talking to you a little bit about the cookware later on, but it is optimised for you to use both with human hands and with these anthropomorphised robotic hands. So as you can see, it's just preparing the space here and getting ready to prepare the meal. And don't forget that it's been made with kind of chefs in mind to prepare the meal in exactly the same way that a chef, a human chef, would do it. If you've never seen this technology before, I know I was, it is, it is pretty gobsmacking, I should say. Normally also it's worth pointing out that the protective screen would be down but we do just have it open today, so obviously it wouldn't, wouldn't be much of a video if we had the protective screen down because you wouldn't be able to see what it is that we're doing. And as you can see, just within that three-dimensional space, the Moly Robotic Arms just arrange the kitchen safely and precisely to do exactly what it needs to do. Talking about the cookware as well, so you can obviously see the pot on the hob here, and we've got a pan here, um, a colander, a, a drainer here on the side. And actually, the handle on that pot is specifically designed not to get hot, okay? So even when human beings are cooking, and in terms of fire safety and things like that in the kitchen, it's been designed in a premium way that you've got absolute safety in mind at all times. So taking out that onion that I diced so neatly earlier on, one thing that is kind of cool as well that we should mention about the individual containers that go within the refrigeration compartments is that when you close the lid, it actually creates a vacuum, so it removes the air, which means that the ingredients remain fresh. Just another little touch. Also, the robot has, as we said, there's over 50 sensors in the, uh, in the kitchen and infrared uh, imaging, so the, the robot is able to um, acknowledge things like temperature, texture, colour, all the things that, that kind of the human brain registers, this robot registers as well when it's preparing food. Just to, again, it's not just a robotic kitchen that can make a meal for you, it's a robotic kitchen that can make a meal for you in the way that a human chef would. So obviously an exquisite design needs exquisite cookware and utensils and we've got the examples here. So as we mentioned earlier, on the cookware here you have the thermoresistant handle and it has a three millimeter thick stainless steel and aluminium core. Now what this helps do is it helps spread the heat distribution evenly. And that is absolutely key to ensure good cooking. Now what you're looking at here is the Moly Robot R kitchen. Now that comes with the robotic hands here, but you can also get the Moly Robot X kitchen. Now that comes with the GUI, the graphic user interface here, which is essentially the brain of the kitchen, which can remember your recipes, can store recipes. As we said, at the moment there are 30 robotic recipes available on there, but potentially that could be over 5,000 given the 30 different operations that the robot can do. But the Robot X Kitchen doesn't come with the robotic module, but it does have this GUI with it, but you can add the robot module on later if you show, so choose. And it's all part of the development process here at Moly Robotics, where these guys are working hard to innovate and continue improving the products that they have, and obviously just keep, keep bringing out amazing new tech just like this.
On top of that, there are options for bespoke designs. All you need to do is speak to one of the designers here at Moly Robotics, and all you need to do to make that happen is just go on moly.com. Um, there's a whole range of options for you to choose from. As we say, we can create a kitchen that you yourself are gonna love. But just looking at what we have here, it's such a high-end finish. So you have the marble work surface, of course, ebony and pearl lacquer finish with the lighting within it. Um, it really is absolutely beautiful. It kind of looks like some volcanic rock that, that comes from Iceland or something. It really is kind of ethereal, quite otherworldly. And there are so many different designs for you to choose from. There's loads and loads of storage as well within the kitchen itself. So we just open up the drawers. Obviously, we just have this one at the moment full of all our cutlery and some chopping knives and a small handheld whisk and stuff like that. But there's so much storage within this kitchen because not only is it cutting edge technology, what you're actually getting is a premium kitchen as well. Now, we spoke a little bit about the cookware earlier on, looking at the utensils, really beautifully finished. Again, that stainless steel finish with the markers on there, which helps the robot recognize them. Again, all part of the technology that goes into this and just really beautiful, beautifully finished utensils. And this comes with your Moly Robotic Kitchen, by the way, you get these utensils which are specifically designed to be used in this kitchen because they can be used by the robot but also they're optimized to be used by humans. You can see here as well the four hooks which means the robot can place the utensil in multiple different ways and it's really really key in terms of the way the robot cooks. Plus I know at the moment this is a time when People are obviously very concerned about hygiene, about food safety, that kind of thing. There is a whole load of hygiene processes that are part of the Moly Robotic Kitchen, including a UV lamp, which is designed to help kill bacteria. So you can prepare food in what you know is a safe, hygienic way, and also minimizing human contact, which of course is increasingly important at the moment. If we have a look at the cookware itself, there's tons and tons of cookware in here that the robot will select itself depending on what you're cooking. And again, all of this cookware is optimised for use by both the robot and by humans. And it comes as part and parcel of your Moly Robotic Kitchen. Okay, now that it's all prepared, here comes the fun part where I get to actually enjoy the paella all prepared by the Moly Robotic Kitchen. See, there you go. Absolutely delightful. I'm just gonna grab myself a spoon out of here and enjoy some of it. Mmm. 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 That is seriously good stuff. Now, Remember, the Moly, pardon me, the Moly Robotic Kitchen comes with cookware and utensils, optimised for robots and humans to use. Also comes with refrigerator units that are fully robotic, the GUI graphic user interface, which is obviously the brain of the kitchen, tons of storage space. You can have bespoke designs yourself and these super cool robotic arms and hands which actually replicate the movement of human fingers. If you want to be one of the first people in the world to own a fully robotic kitchen, all you need to do is jump on moly.com.